I cannot tell you how thrilled I am that the thrift stores have opened back up again. <laughs> Hey, I'm Janelle, this is to DIY for. So if you're new to my channel, you might not know, but I really do love the thrift store and I love transforming things that I find there. The majority of my home has been decorated with thrifted decor. So I like to keep things very budget friendly and I do a lot of thrifted decor here. Uh, also some room makeover, sometimes there's clothing related items. It's just a new DIY every single week. So please subscribe if you're new and if you're already coming back every week, Thank you. I really, really love the support. So, like I said, some restrictions have started to ease. I was able to get into a thrift store and found some pretty unique items, and I cannot wait to show you what I turned them into. So I am really excited about these wooden rings that I found. That will be for the second project, but for the first one, this is a simple wooden tray I found for $2, and these are bamboo placemats that I previously purchased at the thrift store, but I'm going to repurpose them. So if you can't find the bamboo placemats, you can totally do this with wooden skewers, and I'm just cutting them down to size, and I'm going to glue them down into place inside the tray, give it a new look. So I used wood glue, I painted it on, we've got an even coat across everything, and then I glued each strand into place place and just so you know uh, the best way to cut those is 100% wire cutters they work a lot better than cutting it with scissors so I weighted that down and then when I was done there was some rough edges where the cuts were made they weren't all even so I grabbed two more skewers glued them into place and then I covered the whole thing with a few coats of polyurethane all right now for my favorite project of this these wooden rings I was so excited when I found these I knew exactly what I wanted to do so I cut them in half now these create some really cool shapes I've been seeing this online but also I've been seeing candle holders shaped like this so I got a three-quarter inch drill bit here which was perfect for the candlesticks that I had and it was lucky that this was wide enough that these drilled in perfectly and I drilled in three holes atop the cross of one of those I kept this smallest ring in its own shape and I drilled it laying down so we just kind of have a couple of different objects here that are going to look really great coupled together. The other half circles I left plain because I think they look really cool as shapes. I basically just sanded it down after that and then I um, painted in where I had drilled the holes and as you can see you can kind of vary your arrangements here. Some of these rings set inside of each other. Uh, you can group them together differently. I really really love how those turned out and this tray um, is just a nice little uh, upgrade as well so let me know what you thought of these diys let me know which one was your favorite down below if you have any suggestions in the future of things you'd like to see me make definitely leave that below for me too and don't forget to subscribe i'll be back next wednesday with a new diy cheers